guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. I'm Mindy and this is See Mindy Mom. And today I wanted to share with you guys the laundry routine that has helped me streamline getting through all of the laundry in this house, particularly my kids' clothes. Stay tuned. All right, you guys, I normally don't do a lot of videos about house cleaning and housekeeping and stuff. It's not something I particularly enjoy and I certainly don't think I excel at it, but I have found a way of doing the laundry for my kids and with my kids that has made it so much easier to keep up with. I have three children. They are nine, six, and five. So there are some things that they can do where the laundry is concerned, but there's a lot that they can't really do yet. They're not quite old enough for. But I have found a way for us to work together to get their laundry done that gives them some ownership in the process and helps me out, but that also keeps me from constantly being underneath piles of laundry. If you have multiple kids that you're doing laundry for, especially if they're those ages where they're old enough to help out, but they're not old enough to do the whole process themselves, I'm telling you, this is a life changer. It's all in the sorting and let them do the things that they're capable of doing, which frees you up to do all kinds of other stuff or whatever else you've got on your to-do list for the day, right? I have found that the key to streamlining the laundry process is in the sorting. So what I do where the kids laundry is concerned is I have them bring their laundry hampers down with their dirty laundry downstairs. They dump them all out on the floor and they sort it for me and they sort it into five piles, socks and underwear, pajamas or other things that we sleep in, bottoms, tops, and special things. This is something that they are capable of doing for me. I have shown them how I want it sorted. They put it into piles for me. It probably doesn't take them three to five minutes to do this. The other thing that they will do while they do this is inside out everything. So everything is going through the washer with the right side out. Hopefully that makes sense. The first thing I do is wash all of the pajamas because these are the least soiled items in our laundry. They pretty much only wear them to bed and maybe to eat breakfast in. They wear them for two or three, maybe four nights, and then they throw them in the dirty clothes, but they still gotta be washed, right? But since these are the least dirty items in our laundry, I just send those through on the quick cycle and it only takes about 15 minutes. It washes them on hot water and then I throw them into the dryer and then I will go ahead and sort these for them. They're pajamas so I don't worry about folding them really neatly. It, I timed it today. It took me three minutes to put one pile together for Brick, one pile for McKenna, one pile for Ruthie and then they will take them upstairs and put them away in their pajama drawer. The second load I do is on the opposite end of the spectrum from the pajamas. It is socks and underwear. Those are the smallest items and the dirtiest items usually in our laundry, right? These are the things that we want to wash on hot water for a long cycle. We want them to get lots of attention in the washing machine because they tend to be the stinkiest and the dirtiest stuff in our laundry, right? So I send those through hot water, longer cycle throw them into the dryer, and when they come out, I just toss them into a basket, and the kids sort them themselves. They pair up their own socks, they pick out their own underwear, they take them upstairs and put them away in their underwear and sock drawer. So bam, we've already got two loads down, and I probably haven't even put five minutes of work into it myself yet. Now the third and the fourth loads are tops and bottoms. And I separate the tops and the bottoms for a couple of different reasons. One of the reasons is because I find that shirts or tops tend to be a little lighter weight than the bottoms like jeans and pants and shorts and stuff. And so I want all of those items to get all of the attention and soap and water and the agitation and all that stuff from the washer that they can. And so I separate them out so they get the attention that they need to get clean. I also like to separate these in the wash because of the way that we put them away. Whenever these two loads are done, I will go through it, I will fold it all, and then I will put together outfits. I will put a top and a bottom together, and I will make a pile of outfits for the children. And the reason that I do this is because in their closets, each one of them has some small plastic drawers. They each have a set of six plastic drawers in their closets, and they will take one of those outfits or maybe two, depending on the season and how bulky the clothes are, and they will put them into those individual drawers in their closets. That helps us out immensely, especially during the school year, but even in the summer, 
we do this whenever we're you know heading out the door to go to various and sundry activities it helps us immensely in the morning because the kids know when they get up that they go to their closet and they pick out something so they still have some ownership of it they get choices but they pick out outfits that i have put together so i know that everything matches and coordinates whatever is left over from the tops and bottoms they put away in their drawers in some cases they have a drawer for tops and they have a drawer for bottoms and with other kids sometimes it's just a stack of bottoms and a stack of tops in the same drawer but either way it's much easier to put it away this way the fifth load that I do I call special things and they're basically things that I probably want to wash on gentle and a lot of them I probably don't want to dry this is stuff like dresses and dress shirts for church and special outfits that have been purchased for them from boutiques and just things that need special attention instead of throwing it in with everything else and having to every single load pull out the stuff that I don't want to go to the dryer or make sure that I wash this on gentle or only on cold water it all goes in the same load that way I can wash it on the gentle cycle in cold water and when I move everything to the dryer I'm very aware that this is the load that there are things that I don't want to dry and I pull them out and hang them up to dry I know this may sound like a lot of extra work, but it's something that I have sort of fine tuned over the course of several months and it has totally changed the way we do laundry. I'm basically able to do all of the kids laundry in a single day or even a half day. If it's a day when I'm at home, I can get all of these loads done while the kids are at school and they put them away when they get home. And then the laundry isn't this like multi-day thing that's dragged out. Not to mention that it frees up the washer and dryer so that I can run towels so that my husband can do his laundry so I can do mine another day of the week. It gets all of their laundry laundry done. When it comes to laundry, there is more than one way to skin a cat, more than one way to do your laundry. <laughs> and if you have something that you think would be helpful, be sure to leave it in the comments. You might be helping me. You might be helping somebody else out who's reading. Hopefully some of the things that I have mentioned to you will be helpful to somebody out there. And as always, I appreciate you guys stopping by. Be sure to give this a like, subscribe if you haven't already. And like I said, leave me a comment and let me know if you have any tips and tricks for getting that laundry done and keeping it from being a huge hassle and a huge headache every week. I'll check in with you guys really soon. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,